Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Larry and I are currently out traveling. We are in Colorado, which is absolutely beautiful. We got here yesterday. I didn't film yesterday, although I did a smidge bit, just a little bit, and I am gonna insert that. Actually, no, let me explain what's happening. So we've come to Colorado. We're in Estes Park. We're staying at the Stanley Hotel, and it's something that we booked a long, long time ago, and we're very lucky to be here. And um, it's just beautiful. So I'm going to take you guys out and about with us. We're going to go to the Rocky Mountain National Forest today and explore around. But yesterday we did some like little town shopping and it snowed. <laughs> I was so excited. It was literally like living inside of a, um, a, snow a snow globe. I was so, so excited. I haven't seen falling snow in such a long time. Um, so do you want to add anything, babe? It was cold. Yeah, Larry's not the biggest fan of the snow. But I am going to insert what I filmed yesterday. We also saw, saw elk, which was, oh my gosh. Up close and personal. Yeah, very up close. They were very, very sweet. They were at our hotel, and they just kind of walked right up to the people. So, But we gave us, we gave them their, their distance, their space. We were whispering, you know, so and I don't know. The, the grounds on the hotel are, are in different tiers. So we were basically on level two. Mm -hmm. and they were munching on grass on level one. So there was there was a step up to us. So if if we would have done something to upset them, they would have had to run all the way down past that up the hill to the next level and come all the way back. And by that time, we would have been gone. Yeah. No. I everybody that there was a lot of people around and everybody was so respectful. Nobody was being loud, obnoxious, jumping, screaming. Like they were very respectful towards the animals, which I really appreciated. Because nothing's worse when people are like <sighs> mean to animals. You know, we're in their territory, so we need to respect them. In Anyways, feet, your destination will be on the left. We're at our destination. We're we are in line. Look at, at this destination. This McDonald's line. Like, seriously, it is wrapped all the way around, but it is what it is. And then there's a Starbucks right across the way, so I'm going to get a pumpkin, a venti pumpkin spice cold brew, which I got yesterday. I'm on a roll. This is icky. I don't want to drink it now. Um, so with that being said, I took a lot of footage yesterday that I wasn't supposed to. I was just kind of taking it in, exploring the day. Uh, so I person walking. I am going to insert that footage now for you guys to see and this is our day one. This is snow footage, elk footage, all that fun stuff. So I hope you enjoy it. It's our first day in Colorado and it is snowing. It's actually snowing. It's 41 degrees. Ah! I'm so excited. Larry. Oh look at it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's snow flurrying. Holy oh. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I've seen snow in years, babe. Can you grab the keys? I don't know where they are. I got them. Okay. Oh my god, it's snowing. <gasps> Honey, we need to move here. <laughs> he hates it and I love it. I'm so excited. I have not been, I was just telling Larry, this might sound bad, but I have not been this happy weather-wise in a very, very long time. Larry is 100% living in the correct state and climate. Mindy is not living in, this, in the correct climate or the state. The amount of happiness and excitement that I feel right now, I don't get that in Florida at all. My family gives that to me. <laughs> My husband gives that to me. But the climate and the weather and the colors and the snow, uh, I'm so happy. 
I told Larry, I feel like we're living in a Hallmark film. I just asked him if we should listen to Christmas music. We're gonna put Christmas music on. Oh, and we're still in the car and we're parked because we're waiting to eat at a restaurant called Claire's. I do believe we're still in Estes Park. Yes. Is that correct? So we're staying at the Stanley. Um, I gotta stop filming today. Uh, but I just wanted to update you guys why we're sitting here in the car. But I'm going to pick up my camera and start actually filming tomorrow. But I don't know if it's going to snow tomorrow. It snowed today. So I had to capture that and my excitement. So uh, Larry and I are now going to listen to Christmas music. And I would be judging me. And no, no, I wouldn't. No. Christmas music. It's snowing. <laughs> Here's the inside of our hotel, absolutely stunning. Look at this. Down the stairs. I hope you guys can see the snow flurries on camera. <laughs> the Grinch lives up there. Yeah, he does. <laughs> This is the day that I said that I was not going to film. <laughs> I picked up this adorable vintage so soft it's not like your basic crew neck it's really really nice and the guy said that the more you wash it the softer it gets actually and it just says Estes Park Colorado I can't believe I'm in Colorado right now with Larry and it's snowing I know I sound like a broken record already so anyways I have decided to film a little bit today only because I don't know if we're gonna get snow the rest of the time that we are here so the plan is to capture snow footage for you guys in fact there's melted snow on my lens as we speak let me dry that off better that's better so yeah i want to get some snow footage cute little landscape footage the mountains up there are so snowy when it snows really hard it's all like blurry you can't even see them so this is the main stanley hotel where it is apparently haunted this is also where the shining was filmed and then in comparison, we are staying there. In fact, I think that's our room. Or the next one over is our room. Yeah, that's hidden behind that pine tree is our room. Fall leaves. Fall leaves, pine trees, and snow. What more could a girl ask for, Larry? Yeah, you got the trifecta here. I do. It's like Colorado knew I was coming. Larry and I did the Stanley hedge maze already, which is what Larry just said was added three years ago, right? Yeah, three, four 
four years ago, I think, is when we put it in. Yeah, that was fun. Very fluffy. He is gorgeous. is huge. Oh, there's a bunch of them. But I don't think they're wild. Are they wild? Wait a minute. <gasps> Larry, they're wild. Guys, there's wild elk. Oh my God. I didn't think we'd actually see them. Can you see them? We're quite a bit away. There is a fence in between them and us, but they're wild. They're in a parking lot. <gasps> scratching his butt on the fence. Oh, he's shaking it. Oh, the baby. him in the butt <laughs> or she bit her in the butt no they look like baby cows
you enjoyed that super exciting footage. Gotta turn down the radio. Uh, so, <laughs> mild dilemma. I'm planning to vlog lots of mountainy stuff today, lots of exploring, rivers, lakes, whatever we come across since we're going to, are we on a, oh, we're on a hill. I'm like, oh my gosh, I thought I was driving up and over a sidewalk. Um, it is so windy, like the, rocking cars back and forth windy. So I have a feeling I might not be talking as much in this vlog as more so like playing scene footage with possible music over it. I don't know yet, we'll see. It depends on how bad it sounds while I'm editing. We'll go from there. Did you see that bird? I did see that bird. Yeah. It got even, relocated. Yeah, even the birds are having a hard time flying. Poor we saw a birds. raven yesterday. That was the biggest... I won't say the biggest bird I've ever seen in the wild because I've seen some big birds. It was bigger than a hawk. Yeah. It was huge. It was like the size of an owl. Hedwig. Yeah. Larry just spotted the sign on this cabin. We are officially 8,200 feet elevation. I said that backwards. Sadly, I tried to film, but it might have been really blurry. We just went to go pay to enter the park and we can't get in without reservation. Today is the last day that they're doing the reservations. So we can come tomorrow, anytime, but they're completely booked today. Okay, we found a little park. We had to pay $5 for a parking permit, so we're set there. And there's a beautiful, is this a quarry? Not a quarry, uh, I think it's water management. I think there might be a dam. Dam? Damn! Damn. <laughs> but it's super windy, guys. I don't think I'm gonna be talking to you. I'm just gonna show you guys around. They're shy. Yeah, they are. They keep hiding. Hi. 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 This reminds me of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part one where Ron is teaching Hermione how to skip stones. That's what the scenery reminds me of. Little Canadian geese. Just stuck my boots in the water because they're waterproof. It was fun. Larry said I looked like a little kid. I got boots on so I can go in the water. And there's no skippable rocks. They're more of like pebbles. So no rock skipping, but we tried. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to update you guys because I said I would in the last vlog about elevation and struggles and migraines and headaches and all that. Oop, wind blow. Anyways, though, what I was saying is Larry and I haven't noticed any effects, like bad side effects of the elevation change. Knock on wood. Haven't got any migraines. I'm good. I mean, I'm a little winded when we walk, but that happens anyways when I carry a basket of laundry from, <laughs> from one room to the other, so the wind is killer. Okay. Woo! Back in the car. Freaking ears. I am not used to that sensation, you know, when it's really windy and really cold and the ears, that ear pain. Holy crap. Okay. I'm on my pumpkin spice cold brew, which is so good. Oh, my ears. Oh. Mm. The scenery in Colorado is the prettiest scenery I think I've ever seen in real life. Like, 
Well, you guys can see it. You can see it through the thing. Let me know so far like what your favorite part is. Is it like how beautiful the crystal blue water is against the golden colored trees with the mountains, with the bright green pine trees in the background with snow frosting on top? Let me know. Babe, do you think this is like the prettiest scenery you've ever seen in real life? Pretty close. Pretty close? What's yeah. the prettiest? Uh, Hawaii was very pretty. Oh, Hawaii, yeah. That's very tropical. Pretty. Yeah, sit and, and calm for a minute. Yeah. Larry doesn't do well with this weather at all. But So Larry and I are thinking, actually we think we made out by not being at the park today because the wind gusts are insane. So I think it all worked out because tomorrow is supposed to be 57 with no wind. So it'll be nice. But we're thinking maybe go on a little scenic drive. Maybe drive up through the mountains. So I'm going to try and Google a scenic, I don't know, like scenic drive mountain. Okay, well there's the Peak to Peak Scenic Byway, Estes Park. Designated a Colorado Scenic Byway, it begins as Colorado Highway 7 in Estes Park, passes Lily Mountain and Twin Sisters, then turns south just past Allen's Park on Colorado Highway 72, goes to Netherland where it continues south on. Maybe we should take it. If you think it's worth the try. Why not? Let's do it. Okay, it says 45 minutes. That's Away not bad. Or... I don't know. Yeah. It just might be like to get us there and then to take the route. Either way, once we're done, we just pull off and then we can put in um, our hotel and come back. It's 11 11, I think. Yeah. Head west toward okay. North St. Vrain Avenue. Take this, this one layer off. Too, ma too many layers. The may be affected by Cameron Peak and Williams Fork fires. Bad fires. Oof. I'm guessing those were closer to Denver because we don't have the smog or the... No! Denver was loaded with smog and you could actually smell bon... Well, it's not a bonfire. You could smell the fire. So sad. This has got to go. Can you guys drive with lots of layers on? I got to the point in Ohio when we were living there that I couldn't even drive with my winter jacket on. I felt so, like, bulky and restricted. <laughs> Do you get that way? I used to drive with a oh. vest and a leather jacket when it was bitter cold, but I always kept the window down. Yeah. The heat on it was on in the car, but I kept the window down. You hear a lot more with that. But I got to the point, like every other guy that I work with, where they would actually take their jacket off, put it in the car, and then if they got out, they'd put it on. I do sound winded, <laughs> but I don't feel weird. Well, I'm weird, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, let's go on our scenic drive. We gone. So we found our scenic route. We're definitely traveling up the mountain. We're very high up. We've just pulled off on a little spot where you can pull off and look. It's insane, we are so high. So I'm gonna do this very carefully. You coming out, babe, for I'm a peek? Oh, there's people up there. <laughs> I got to, there's people up there. I got so excited. Oh gosh, be careful. And then here is the roadway and how high up we are. That was fun. I could have climbed that. Found myself a beautiful little rock. Oh. It's got sparklies on it. It's all pink and sparkly. It's hard to see in the camera. Oh, it's so cool. This reminds me of being little. Ah. I always used to collect rocks and stones. Where was the last time you saw one like that? A rock like that? Yep. I don't know. Never had a rock from the Rocky Mountain National Forest though. No, but we were someplace where they, there were abundance of rocks like that. And it was cold when we were there. Where? Central Park. Oh, yeah! Oh, see, I'm just sucker for rocks like that all right we're waiting our turn you we have a clear shot of like what's coming behind us and we can pull out i'll show you there we go there's our little view and our little pull off spot we have snow there's snow on the ground we've reached a point where we're high enough in elevation that we now have snow laying on the ground <gasps> so happy i'm giddy with excitement <laughs> my ears are literally popping not gonna lie Sorry about the sun glare reflection. If we can pull off and pick up snow, I'm doing it. I believe it. Snow. 
on the mountain. <laughs> on our drive, we just found the most beautiful church. It's a bit windy. Just a bit. Oh my gosh, look at it. There is the statue off in the distance looking over the church. We have spotted another Big Daddy Elk. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is currently the next day. It is Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. We are still in Colorado. I think I'm gonna add this portion of the video onto the next portion of the video. But we are currently at our hotel. We are eating breakfast in the library, which is gorgeous. And I ordered a veggie omelet and Air Larry, Airy. I almost called you Airy. Airy. <laughs> Larry ordered the Not pancakes. <laughs> Larry Airy. <laughs> this room is inside our hotel. Looks like a little seating area and it's a real fire. Looks like it's straight out of Downton Abbey. <laughs> That's creepy. That door just opened and now it's shutting. Okay. <sighs> is there a ghost in here with us? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'm not as freaked out because it's daylight, but if it was dark, I'd be running up, I'd be running. Larry and I are officially back in our hotel room. We've just packed everything up because we need to check out at 11 today. It is almost 11 now. And then Larry and I are headed off to the Rocky Mountain National Forest. We tried to do that yesterday, as you guys saw, but didn't make it in because we didn't have a reservation. And today starts the no reservations. Hopefully that's what they said. We called. Um, we did call, we talked to two different people. So that is where we're headed now. And then after that, we're gonna be headed back out to Denver and we'll be staying at the Hampton in Denver. And then do we leave tomorrow or tomorrow? We have a full day. We have a full day tomorrow. We have a full day in the Denver area tomorrow and then we go back home on Thursday. So I'll take you guys along the journey, see what we get into. We're hoping today, we've seen elk so far. And deer. And deer. We're hoping to maybe see a moose today. And Larry wants to see a ram, a goat. Uh, the, I don't know what they're called. They're um, they have the big curly. Oh, the curly horns. Okay, those. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing, like, all of the animals. I'd love to see them all. But I'm also very aware that we're fish out of water here, and the animals here are very. <laughs> I mean, they're not what we're used to, so we have to be careful and respect them, which we do, of course. But, but it was amazing when we did run into some elk. Mm -hmm. There was there was elks that were, they had to be close to five, 500 pounds, I would guess. Yeah, they huge. Were huge. Um, also picked out this shirt, which is so cute. Um, Estes Park or Estes Park, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but. We've heard it both ways yeah, while we've been here. Got a really cute shirt. I also got my mom the twin one, but in a navy blue color. Anyways, I'm rocking the shirt. It's a little warmer today, it's sunny, still a bit windy but I think it's gonna be perfect for a hiking day. And yeah, let's get checked out of the Stanley and hit the road. I think I might grab myself a Starbucks coffee. I need some coffee. I'm turning into one of those Starbucks <laughs> people. I think I'm, I'm officially can call myself a Starbucks snob or something because hotel coffee or just like regular pot of coffee, I can't. I can't, I need my Starbucks. I never used to be that way. I'm getting older or something, I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that doesn't sound snobbish. 
You guys know what I mean? I mean, if you're a Dunkin' fan, you probably know what I mean. And if you're a Starbucks fan, you know what I mean. But if you don't have a preference to coffee, you're like, yeah, you sound like a snob. Either way, that's all right. <laughs> I like my Starbucks. Currently in line at Starbucks, we did get confirmation. It's Estes, not Estes, so I apologize. And we are in the Starbucks parking lot and I am picking up a Grande Pumpkin Cream Cold Brew. And Larry and I are each getting a bottle of water and then we're gonna head to the parks. The weather is perfect. It's like perfect sweater weather. It's currently 63. We'll see how it drops once we get down to the park actually. See how cold it gets, but. I think it's gonna be the perfect day. Larry's over here taking pictures of birds? Birds. Birds. But I've got my glorious pumpkin cream cold brew. My wheel's all twisted. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean on. I wish you guys could see this top of the foam. Oh, I'll have to show you. Hold on, let me show them. Let me show them! You got a wada. <laughs> Larry's got a wada. Look at this. Now this is the cream. The pumpkin cream so it's some kind of like it tastes like pumpkin pie with cinnamon and nutmeg and all sorts of deliciousness on top she says it tastes like pumpkin pie she actually had me taste that it's literally a liquid pumpkin pie yeah if Larry likes it it's great at the bottom I told him he wouldn't like it because this actually tastes pretty close to black coffee all you all you're getting sweet wise is the cream up top which Larry loved which do you want to try some before it sinks down no it's okay you, you have it Nick. you can have some no you have it okay <laughs> And then, um, yeah, so now I'm trying to look for a camera strap for this camera so I can wear it around my neck. That way I don't have to take anything into the Rocky Mountain National Forest. I don't want to really carry a purse. I just kind of want to take my phone, the camera, Larry, and myself and go explore without having to lug around anything. We are currently in the world's longest, largest line to get into the park. So we're just kind of taking it in, enjoying all the scenery, which is lovely. I mean... When I mean a lot of traffic, it's packed. Listen to how quiet this is. It's so still, but then listen to this. I cannot tell you how satisfying this sound is. Elk poopy. Currently headed off to the beautiful golden trees. We have just come down to a beautiful little stream. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the sound is glorious. Isn't it beautiful? It's like out of this world. We're gonna dip our hands in the water just to see how icy cold it is. Ready? Ready. Oh, it's frigid, isn't it? It's very cold. That's freezing. Wow. Very refreshing. Okay, it's windy, but we are 2.3 miles from Cub Lake, that's where we're headed. Then there's the pool, which is three and a half miles, and then Mill Creek Basin, which is four miles away.
We're making our way into the forest on our hike. A little chippy. It's time to strip off a layer. Taking off the sweater and gotta untuck this and make it look cuter because right now it's not cute. <laughs> and that's the most important thing. I'm looking cute. I'm wearing my Sanderson sisters brew. Ah. All right. This is the good thing about layers. It starts off chilly and then it gets warm. But and there we go. There we have it. And just to the left, you can frame that mountain with the rocks in the foreground and the evergreens. It's beautiful. That's the biggest poops we've seen. I don't think it's elk. It's kind of fresh smelling. It's like horse poop. Maybe it's moose poop. Also could be horse poop. Maybe it's moose. We keep scanning up here for big cats. <laughs> Our two mile hike. Ooh, da, da, da. Almost fell over. Yeah. <laughs> we just had a massive wind gust. Larry and I are back in the car from our hike, which was beautiful. We're now looking at the map because there's no GPS here, so nothing electronic works, which is quite nice actually. And we are trying to find our way up the mountain. We're trying to go to Old Fall River Road, but it might be partially closed up towards Alpine Visitor Center. So we're basically trying to climb to the highest elevation that we are able to before the road closes off, because right now we're pretty low. Larry and I are currently making our way down this super steep hill. We just watched a family of deer cross the road up here. They're actually way over there in the distance. But there's a beautiful river down here that we want to go see. So we are trekking it, trucking it, <laughs> exploring downhill. That looks dangerous. We'll go the way Larry's going. There's some prickery pricker stuff around here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm putting the camera away for a minute. <laughs> In case you're wondering where I just fell, it'd be right there. <laughs> I think there was a flood at one time, so it's like filled with all of these sticks and shrubs and it's so slippery. <sighs> Anyways, there's the Bambis. My butt feels like I've got a bunch of spikes in it from that. Got dirt in my shoes. Oh, are they coming? Babe, do I have spikes on my butt, like thorns? I have thorns on my butt. <laughs> Larry's picking them off. Thanks, babe, for picking thorns off my butt. <laughs> Here's the river. We've made it. One fall and prickly butt later, but we've made it. We 
we've come to the many parks view destination spot which is extremely high i am afraid of heights so this is terrifying <laughs> but it's beautiful so i'm doing it <laughs> you're doing good Mink. thanks babe larry has lost his mind he is literally about to climb up that rock that overlooks or overhangs the entire thing I cannot go. I cannot do it. I will have a stroke. I get lightheaded. <laughs> O-M-G. Why? Here he goes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's up. He did it. He's crazy! So, we're driving up on top of the mountain. We're extremely high up in the air and I have the sweatiest freaking palms ever. I'm not a big fan, but Larry's doing well with keeping me calm and saying you're doing great. You are doing great. Man. I feel like I'm driving like a little old lady, but so is everybody behind me and in front of me, so I'm not really worried. Look at all that beautiful snow though. Getting closer to the Grinch's house. Cave. Why are we still going up? There's two male elk back here and they're headbutting. So we're trying to get it. Yeah, I can hear him. Come on. There's people. Charge you. Those people are really close. So we're coming into the town of Estes one last time before we leave. Um, we're going to get caramel apples at this shop that's down here. I'll show you guys when we get there. We've heard you have to get them, so we're going to get them. We figured we'd get our caramel apples. We have yet to eat anything today besides breakfast, but moose is the priority. So we're trying not to eat. Moose is the priority to see before we can eat dinner. <laughs> God. All right, let's get caramel apples to hold us over. 485. Ah! Apple was a success. Unfortunately, though, I don't know the name of the place. It just said candies, apples, uh, Laura's. and fudge. Laura's. Laura's. Thank you. Yeah. Laura's. So, Big red canopy. Can't miss it. Yeah. For the first time, I got a caramel apple with pecans, and then I also got two caramel apple with nuts, which are in the back. So, ah, ha, ha. Mmm. Mm hmm. 1.3 million. Mm hmm. Larry picked up a magazine to see how much the houses here cost. Nine hundred seventy-five thousand. A little out of our price range. <laughs> um, more than a little. Mm-hmm. All right, we're heading back to Fern Lake in the Rocky Mountain National Forest because a lady told us that there's a every time she goes to Fern Lake, there's a moose there, and she thinks he lives near there, so that's where we're going. So cheers. They said Laura's Candies has the best apples. Mm -hmm. They're really good. Yeah. And the apples all green and fresh. Nice. Good morning, everybody. We are at our hotel in Denver. It is currently Wednesday. It is our last day here. We go back home 
to Florida tomorrow. And then we threw up the idea of going to Pikes Peak. We're taking the scenic drive. Pikes Peak is the number one thing that I think we're not in focus. I don't know. That everybody warned us, don't do it on the first day. You'll get really, really sick. You could. We've been here four days. We've been doing great. So we're gonna venture up to Pikes Peak. We're praying we can maybe see a moose today. We're really hoping to see a moose. So, and a ram. Larry wants to see those, the, the, the longhorn sheep. Yeah, the longhorn sheep. So let's hit the road. We've got, I don't know how far of a drive. I think it might be two hours, hour and a half. Hour and a half, maybe. Pikes Peak. Unfortunately, we can't go to the top because of high winds. They have the top four, the last four areas that you can visit closed due to the high winds. Mm -hmm. We just entered the park. We went probably about a hundred feet and got a wind blast and blew a bunch of leaves in the car that <laughs> hit us in the face and actually stung. So if it's this bad at 8,000 feet, I don't know what it would be like at 14,000 feet. Oh my gosh, look at the, oh my gosh, look at the cliff off to the... It's a big cliff on the left. Yeah, I'm like gripping the wheel like old lady mode is happening. But fortunately, we're on the upside, so we're... <gasps> oh, there's a place to park and look yeah, off. We can stop place. there on the way back. Yeah, we'll stop there on the way back. Otherwise, you'd be making some really funky maneuvers with your car. Oh, man. <laughs> so we're getting there. First place that we can stop and do some scenery pictures and stuff like that will definitely bring you aboard but for now we're just on our way up we looking forward to 9,000 feet yeah we're literally doing like 18 miles per hour up here right now yeah and we're not pushing the cars in front of us and I don't <clears throat> think there's anybody behind us no. at all to push us so that's kind of nice yeah we're all maintaining same speed the person in front of me we're all staying about the same yeah. Wow, this is incredible though. Oh, so after this, we're actually headed to this other area. It's called, well, the girl said it was off the beaten track. Not a lot of people know about it. And it's, I forget the name of it, but we're gonna go there after this. And it has beautiful lakes and stuff like that. There was a waterfall that I really wanted to go to. I think it was called Seven Something. Seven Something Waterfall. Waterfall, but that's closed, which was really disappointing. But we're gonna make the most of it and see everything that we can see because obviously Florida does not look like this. No. <laughs> so, this is gorgeous. No, if you thought Florida looked like this, I would venture a good bet to say that you were probably a mile high when you thought Florida looked like this. <laughs> yeah, this is the exact opposite of Florida. I was, I was kind of laughing. I was glad that they had the mountain closed where it should be closed. I'm like, there, there's, it blocks off the road, right? So I can't drive past it and make an accident, right? <laughs> I'm not trying to get us blown off the mountaintop. Uh-uh. Nope. See that wind. So. Yeah, I've been in some extremely high winds before, but never at 14,000 feet, so I'm gonna take their word for it. Amen. Look, a lot of rocks come down. There's yeah. a lot of boulders on the side of this right road. Right on the side of the road. So that's the update. As soon as we stop, we'll, we'll get you back on. Yep. Bigfoot crossing. That's cool. We're heading into the historic Glen Cove Inn. Okay, so we just stepped off to use the restroom, but look at that. It's so much more massive in person than I bet you it's coming off on screen. It's chilly now. Also, we dropped about 20 degrees. Went from 85 to, I think it's 60 now, give or take. Yeah. So our journey, we're going to continue, proceed on. We're going to get in the car and go back up and start traveling wherever else it takes us. We're back in the car. We're back. I'm going to show you guys what we picked up. So Larry picked up Pikes Peak, America's Mountain. It's a book that has all sorts of beautiful pictures. Hardcover. 
Yes, I picked up a postcard, which I think looks so cute. Very retro. And then we picked out a Christmas ornament that I thought was really cute. Larry and I both liked it the most. And it's just this little bunny skiing. And again, it says Pikes Peak, Colorado, elevation 14,115 feet. So we liked it. So we got him. Larry and I have got out of the car and we are exploring on a little walking trail. There's nobody else out here. Hoping we'll see some animals. We haven't seen any here, which is odd. Yeah, we saw a German Shepherd, but that was somebody's pet. So pretty. end of the night we didn't film that much today we've just got back from dinner and now we're just packing up we're going to bed because we have a very early flight to catch we're very excited to return home we loved Colorado though it was amazing and incredible and it's time to go home though so we're gonna get off here pack go to bed and we will see you in a new vlog very soon I hope you enjoyed this very cozy scenic video and if you did give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload and we'll see you again very soon bye, bye.